Kia ora team, my name's Ben and today we're going to go through the five rights and the four C's of drug administration. Alright, first up, before we administer a drug, we're going to make sure we do a thorough assessment of our patient. So, signs and symptoms, we're probably going to get through a sample, uh, do our vital signs. And if we're assessing pain, we'll use OPQRST. So, O, onset, when did it start and what were you doing when it started? P provokes and palliates. What makes it better? What makes it worse? Q quality. Can you describe your pain for me? Then R radiation. So can you point to where you feel it? And then does it radiate out from there or just stay in that one spot? S severity. On a scale of 0 to 10, 10 being the worst pain in the world and 0 no pain, how would you describe your pain at its worst, at its best? And then right now. And then T for taken. Have you taken anything for it? And T for time. So over time, is it getting better, worse, or staying the same? So once you've got all these things, then we can choose the medication, choose the drug. So that's why you want to know all your indications for your medications. So when we should administer a drug. And then your contraindications. So when you shouldn't administer that drug, and you want to know your cautions. So the times when you weigh up with your clinical judgment whether or not you might or might not use this particular drug. Once we've dealt with that, we can choose our drug, and then we want to have informed consent. So I want to explain the benefits and potential side effects to our client so that then they can make an informed decision as to whether they want that medication. All right, once we've done this, then we can do uh, the five rights of drug administration. So you can use the, the acronym TRAMP to remember them. So the right time. Different drugs have different dosing intervals. So if you have methoxyfluorane, you may have to wait over a week before you can have it again. If you have paracetamol, you're going to have to wait four hours. So we've got to make sure it's the right time for your patient. Then the right route. Different medications can be taken in different ways, so we want to make sure we're using the right route. Is it oral, intranasal, um, IM, IV, and then the right amount. So this is the dose, and this is going to depend on our patient's age, um, our patient's weight, and potentially the route that the medication is going in. Then medication. So the right medication, the right drug. We want to make sure that we have what we think we've got. So some ampules and some tablet sheets look very similar between drugs, and also some drug names can appear very similar. So we want to double check we got that right medication. And then finally, the right patient. Double check we've got the right patient for that medication. Then we've done our five rights. We want to do our four C's. So the first one is clarity. Hold the ampule up to the light. Is it clear or is it cloudy? Um, is there any debris or foreign substances in it? And then we want to check the container. So this means the physical thing the medication is in, not the box that it comes in. Is it being tampered with? Is the seal intact? Then concentration. Some medications can come in different concentrations and if we have if we think we've got one concentration and we mix it up, we may over or under dose a, play, a patient. And then finally, check the expiratory date. So when we're doing this, we want to give the medication to our offsider and then get them to read out loud the medication, the concentration, and the expiry date. And then they can give it back to us, and then we're going to read the same things out. So once we've done our five rights and our four C's, we then administer the medication and we, record, we can record those five rights again. So TRAMP, time, route, the amount, the dose, the medication, and the patient. And then finally, we want to reassess to see if um, positive things have happened or negative things. So for this, we want to be aware of the onset of the effect. So something like methoxyfluorine is going to take two or three minutes before we'd notice an effect. Something like paracetamol may take 30 or 40 minutes. 
So make sure you know when to expect in a result. Because if you give someone paracetamol and then two minutes later you ask them how's their pain, we wouldn't have expected it to change. So once, once we reach that time, we want to reassess their pain. So on a scale uh, from zero to 10, zero is no pain, 10 is the worst pain in the world. How would you rate your pain right now? And we also want to assess for any side effects of the medication or any adverse reactions. And that is how we administer medication. So our five rights and our four C's, and don't forget to document and reassess. Good work, team. Happy studying.